Hi guys, I've just put together a few videos on your text that you're studying. As you can see, I've called it the In a Nutshell series because it's, it's giving you the most important aspects of your text, literally in a nutshell, so that you can remind yourself and revise for your assessments coming up and your mock exams coming up as well. So to start off with, we're looking at an inspector calls and the context of an inspector calls in a nutshell. Now we need to ask ourselves, why was the play set in 1912? What was um, Priestley's, you know, rationale? What was his logic? Now we know already that he lived through the time period that the play was set in, which was that time of the war, and he actually fought in World War I. The play was set in 1912, as you know, but it was written in around about 1945, 1946-ish, Right, just after World War II. Now, in this time, there were lots of changes that took place in society. And, and Priestley wanted to actually demonstrate these changes in the play. So at that time, it was known as the Edwardian Golden Age. And was known as the Golden Age because during this time here, there was this really, really strong, strong division between the poorer working classes and the middle and upper classes who were of course the wealthier classes of society. So during this time of the golden age the wealthier upper classes they showed off their wealth, they showed off their riches, their homes were very grand, they led a very extravagant life, um, you know the life of the rich was characterized by numerous social parties and flamboyance and just a whole lot of excessiveness, which wasn't good for society in general because at this time you had the rich capitalists exploiting the poor working classes. It was a time of industrialization. It was a time when people were driven by profits where where people were subjected to very poor working conditions with absolutely no social security system and because of that it was a time that was characterized by a lot of oppression a lot of inequality of, in society and the women's charity set up as a result to help the women who were really subjected to even more inequality by virtue of the fact that they were women, they were looked at and perceived as lower in status than men in society at the time, even with the upper classes. And if you, and you see that in the play as well. Mr. Burling had married someone who, is, who was his social superior. And Mrs. Burling was, of course, from the upper classes. So there was social mobility at that time by marrying somebody who was of a higher social status automatically you know you would assume that status and in Mr. Burley's case because he was um, the head of the house as the man of the house he also you know would be entitled to all the wealth and the property and all the money that Mrs. Burling owned so it was that sort of situation at that time and of course uh, because of industrialization and because of exploitation people were uh, subjected to harsh treatment in the factories which actually reinforced the class system and which led to even more um, poverty. They had earned very low wages. There was a lot of prejudice against the lower classes they were not seen as equal members of society or as human beings for that matter. And you see that um, in the injustices that Priestley portrays in Eva Smith and the way in which she was treated by the Burlings, by Sheila, by Mrs. Burling. And of course, because of that, we also see that people had enough of it and there was this rise of the working voice, which became the huge catalyst for political change in society at that time. 
So these are some of the things you need to remember when you are talking about context because uh, what Priestley tried to show uh, throughout the play and what Priestley tried to portray in the play was the conflicting views between capitalism and socialism and of course the conflicting views between the upper classes and the poorer working classes and we can see and what you need to write about in your in your answers is how the different characters actually demonstrate these aspects of context and these ideas that were prevalent at that time uh, when the play was set. It's really important that you make those contextual links in your answer. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you. I do hope that you found this lesson useful today, guys. Please like, subscribe and share. And if there's any specific topic you would like help on, do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.